When you first looked at me, you probably didn't think much of me beyond the general assessment of my appearance. And, well, of course, you probably can't tell much about anyone based on a single look. But why is it, when we see someone we don't know, we consistently fail to consider the idea of them beyond their appearance? Is it because it's easier? It's easier to let someone's appearance do the talking? Is that why it's so effortless to walk straight past a homeless person? Or to let a uniform deter you from acknowledging your bus driver? It's easy not to care about people and to see social constructs as unchangeable when we limit our perception of others to the way they look or, the see, uh, or seem and not the, who they may be. And frequently, even when we do have an idea of what people are like, we place our own labels on them. Humans seem to have a compulsive need to label each other. And then when we realize how restricting this is, we create more labels to rectify the issue. One of the reasons why it's so easy for the media to change our perception of each other is because we let it happen. We accept the way the media portrays certain individuals so that we don't have to make that judgment ourselves. In other words, we let ourselves be told what to think about people we don't even know. We need to start taking a greater responsibility for the information we consume and the resulting ideologies and stereotypes that we begin to believe. On a global level, so labeling deepens social divides. It allows cycles like social deprivation and poverty to continue because labels restrict these people from escaping these cycles. A society where people are pushed down, the, further the, the higher the people at the top get to exist, in my opinion, undermines the authenticity of human morality. Humans as a race are constantly covering up their flaws or trying to eradicate them all in some sort of senseless utopia. We need to work with our flaws to create a society that's as friendly as, as possible to everyone. And I believe this starts with compassion. Now that doesn't mean, um, that doesn't mean pitying others to soothe our own guilty conscience. That means taking that step, as worn out as the saying is, to remember that we're all human, giving others the benefit of the doubt. Because when you take that step and make that effort, you could realize that there's so much more to that person than you ever could have imagined. And don't limit yourself either. Don't limit yourself to what society tells you makes you worthy. Create your own definition of what makes you feel accomplished and fulfilled based on what matters to you. So, as I heard someone once say, let's not bring each other down when we should be raising off each other's crowns. Define me by my character, not by the label on the box that society condemns me to.